so I get asked a lot about the bone-in tomahawk chop and this is how you do it you essentially cut the ribs in half down with a saw and then you can use your knife now if you don't have a, a saw you can actually cut up the sternum and with your knife between the joints of the ribs and you'll come here and find the joint at each rib where it bends hit it with your knife once to loosen it up and then you take come on this side cut down to the top of the back strap not at the bottom though so you just cut the top part down the spine and then you push and essentially just start peeling the ribs off with the back strap on it getting your knife underneath the joints of the ribs now if you've got a saw or whatever you can zip a saw through there but i just like it a little bit smoother without the saw cuts if i can if i've got a little bit of time I'll just keep pushing and then popping those joints hitting it with my knife first so it knows which joint to follow it's wherever the rib moves along the spine just hit it with your knife real quick Shouldn't take a lot of force, so be careful. You don't, if you got rough ends on the ribs, you don't want to cut your hand or whatever. So you shouldn't have to force it too much. If you find the right joint, then just a little bit to pry it and get your knife under there. It's fairly easy. The last couple are always the hardest, closer to the neck. Sometimes if I've got a saw, I'll run the saw on those ones. Cool, there it is. So then you've got your, it's a little, needs cleaned up a little bit, but You've essentially got your back strap attached to a rib. You can either cook it as a roast, so a rib rack. I cut it about four ribs, cook it in the oven, or on like a pellet grill, like a Traeger or something like that. Or just do like chops, and you just cut thick chops in between each one of these, so it's kind of a Frenched cut. So that's how you get like a Frenched roast or a Frenched back strap, is doing that, just cutting between the ribs and then cooking those chops bone in. It's really good. Now we're gonna move on to the back strap and ribs. This is bone in. I've got the back strap here, portion of the ribs. So it can be called tomahawk cuts or cowboy steaks, whatever you wanna call it. We'll do some as chops and we'll do some as a roast. So I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna clean it up a little bit. Start on this side. Clean up some of this fat, but we will leave some of the fat on the ribs. because it actually cooks down pretty nice. It's a nice little addition. All right, now I'm gonna remove some of the silver skin from the back strap. So I get this nice and clean. One of my favorite ways to cook the back strap like this is a French rack. So it's essentially cooked in the oven. I'll clean up these ribs a little bit and then we can um, cook it as a whole roast and then cut the chops afterwards. You can take your saw and make these even if you'd like. What we're gonna do, we're gonna leave half of this a roast. So I'm gonna just pick between a set of ribs here. Go here, cut through the ribs. See on this side, just following through these ribs to the back strap. So now we've got a rack here. I'm gonna just clean this up a bit, make it look pretty. I just kind of clean up in between the ribs about halfway down for this French rack. Take whatever rib meat and put that in my grind. There you have it, a French rib rack. That can go however you wanna cook it, in the oven, on the grill. Cook it whole, then slice your cuts afterwards. Awesome, awesome cut. Really fun to cook that way, people love it. Now we're gonna cut some chops out of the back strap. I'm just gonna leave the bone in. It's kind of fun, cowboy style. Got the big piece of rib on there, and then we just follow the ribs down to the joint and that'll be our indicator for where to cut our steaks out of so go between and just start cutting our steaks out of that you can trim these down leave them long it's kind of fun have a good handle it's like a steak on a stick got our chops out of that if you want to just cut the chop down you can cut anywhere along this rib to create your chops to your liking Those are long handled chops there. And there you have it, bone in 
backstrap chops, tomahawk chops, really great cut. Now we'll just go into the other side, a backstrap that's deboned, and I'll show you how to cut steaks or roasts out of that backstrap.